Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make a jQuery uh, picture slider or photo gallery or picture gallery and uh, this is the way it actually looks like. So uh, before I explain uh, how things work I would want you to see how they look. So this is the uh, preview, the published preview. Uh, once it's uploaded to the server this is the way it's going to look like. So you can see you see the shuffle effect and uh, for this example I'm using three pictures okay uh, moreover uh, before I jump into the explanation and uh, the working I would also like to show you my local site folder which is uh, this one uh, you can see out here this is the HTML uh, CSS document people we have an images folder and we have a JS folder now if I open up the images folder you can see that there are three images PNG images of the size 256 each obviously uh, you would be using a uh, different number of pictures in different sizes which is absolutely all right uh, also uh, you see that I've, I have a folder uh, by the name JS uh, for JavaScript and if I go inside I have these three uh, jQuery uh, files they have an extension of JS JavaScript right and uh, basically I'm using the uh, the the jQuery cycle plugin which is uh, the file at the top and the file in the middle which actually requires uh, the jQuery 1.8.3 uh, version all right Min, uh, minified version so which means that uh, the prerequisite for uh, this gallery is uh, these three files so where did I get these three files from first of all the most important file that's required for the plugin to work which is this and this is this the one at the bottom so where do I get the main file I get the main file from jQuery.com and uh, with the minified uh, production version selected you just click on download and save it okay where do I get the uh, plugin all you need to do is you need to go to jQuery.malsup.com forward slash cycle which is this and uh, right at the top you'll find a link that says download the cycle plugin so you get the uh, one of the files from here and the easing plugin is out here so once you have all the three files you uh, dump it dump them inside a folder uh, I've called that folder JS you could have given it a different name altogether which is absolutely all right and then uh, you need to push in uh, some code just after the title tag in the head of the document okay which is just this much people just this much and uh, things will come into effect uh, I'll take you uh, through the code the meaning the explanation uh, in a new separate file but for now just understand that the FX or the effect that I'm using right now is shuffle uh, I might as well change it to fade and uh, let's show you how it actually works I don't need the easing uh, to work then so what I can do is I can just disable it like so and uh, let's take a preview up how things look like uh, when you use the fade uh, effects effect okay cool isn't it right let me get back to Dreamweaver and uh, let's change this to all all means uh, randomly any effect any transition so let's check it out in Google Chrome after saving the changes so randomly it'll pick up any effect now uh, you have a list of all the effects out here so you have the shuffle the zoom the fade uh, the scroll right let's let's try the scroll right this time so let's get back to Dreamweaver replace this with scroll right and uh, let's see how things look like right now in Google Chrome after saving the changes mm. now what went wrong maybe this extra space out here uh, maybe let's have a look now yep that was the culprit <coughs> excuse me right and uh, you can even pause the uh, the uh, 
slideshow uh, on a mouse over and uh, I'll tell you how to do that you just need to add one more parameter so I can go out here and uh, okay first of all let me enable the easing as well and after the comma I can say pause colon one and a comma right so if I were to save the changes have a look now let's see what happens all right so it's bouncing around and scrolling from left to the right let me mouse over okay people as you can see uh, the progression has stopped so that's that's pretty cool right so let me just close down these extra windows yep uh, as I said uh, you can go to uh, this URL and you can uh, sorry you can check the uh, different effects that are possible uh, the different uh, parameters uh, that you can apply there's a lot of information out here okay uh, people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, construct the whole thing in a new separate file so you get a much better understanding of how this was actually done right so let's say a file new okay let me choose this layout just two column fixed left sidebar the page type is HTML uh, everything else I'm gonna keep just the same let me hit the create button and uh, see out here is where I want to have that new div so what I'm gonna do is just below the instructions I'm gonna insert my div so the div that's gonna host all the three pictures and I'm gonna give it an ID of let's say slideshow yep okay so let's close it up as well right inside which I would want to uh, display all the three pictures so let me get the pictures in so what I can do is uh, let me just reset my workspace like so and from the images folder uh, I would like to drop in those three pictures one by one I'm gonna skip the alternate text that's the first one uh, here's the second one okay and here's the third one right I've dropped it inside the div for the moment I'm uh, not putting the alt tag let me save the file up All right so this time let me just call it uh, jQuery cycle plugin right right -o. so uh, I have placed all the three pictures uh, inside the div uh, with an ID uh, slideshow as you can have a look out here cool next up people I'm gonna make sure that my cursor is blinking where the word slideshow is and let me click on this plus button to pop up uh, a new CSS rule dialog box and uh, let me click on the less specific button so uh, I'm gonna define the uh, ID slideshow the rule is getting saved inside this document only which is fine it's a compound rule it's actually um, an ID but it's okay to keep it at compound let me say okay let me start defining the rule okay since I know my pictures are uh, uh, 256 each I'm gonna keep the width and the height to 288 I'm gonna have uh, you know some some padding as well for the moment I want to keep the padding zero but I'll give the padding to the pictures so that's the reason I uh, and I need to have water as well so uh, two two pixels of border uh, 15 pixels of uh, padding on either side of the pictures so that makes it you need to add 32 to 256 30 for the padding and 2 for the uh, border on both the sides so I've just done my calculation okay not only that I would want the uh, the whole div to float left so that the text can wrap around cool I would also want it to have some margin but not on the upper side okay not on the uh, not the top margin but the right bottom and left margin of 20 pixels each yep so I think I'm uh, I'm okay now let me say okay let's have a look uh, inside the browser Chrome after saving the changes let's see how things look like right now <coughs> okay 
so uh, nothing dramatic uh, yet uh, but don't worry everything will be just fine in a moment next up people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on any of these pictures let's say the third picture let me click on this uh, button and uh, click on less specific twice uh, as you can see out here uh, the new compound rule is targeting images inside slideshow which is uh, fine let me say okay and as I promised you I would want a 15 pixels of padding all around the pictures uh, that's that's cool I would want a border which is solid and thin and uh, with a color which is pound sign CCC at the same time I would want a background color of uh, a pound sign EEE -E -E. and uh, that's it let me say okay and let's have a look inside the browser how things look like right now okay so basically uh, I, I told you the pictures are 256 uh, in width and height each uh, but the outer day which is the, the the pound sign of the the hash sign slideshow was kept to 288 to accommodate 15 pixels of uh, uh, padding and one pixels of uh, one pixel of uh, border so that's uh, 15 plus 15 30 plus 1 plus 1 2 so that makes it 288 uh, that's the reason uh, the div the outer div uh, slideshow was kept at <coughs> 288 each height and width right uh, but so far nothing uh, has happened uh, and the reason for that is that I need to uh, let's let's fetch the JavaScript which is out here under the title tag so I'm gonna this is uh, from line 8 to 21 let me say copy okay let me get back to the jQuery cycle plugin.html file. Let me locate uh, the title tag out here. Let's, let's have, where is it? Yeah, there it is, right? So I'm going to just hit enter and place the JavaScript out here, which I'm going to explain now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, the, 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 the code that I've pasted could have been pasted anywhere in the head of the document, not simply uh, below the title tag, but I've chosen that spot. That's okay. Right. I'm going to call it jQuery uh, plugin slideshow. Let me save the file up and then let me explain. Okay. Let me talk about uh, lines 7, 8, and 9 first. Now, what's happening out here is through the opening and the closing script tags and the SRC tags, I'm uh, pointing to the three jQuery files uh, the main file, uh, the minified version, jQuery 1.8.3, which is the latest version, okay, and these two are the plugins. So, all these three files would be needed, hence, I need to point to them, okay. And let's see what is between the opening and the closing script tags out here. Uh, between lines 11 and 20 so this line means that once the document is ready I would want the uh, jQuery to fire this function okay uh, basically it will look for uh, it look for a div uh, with an ID slideshow that's what it's gonna target uh, so let's have a look people if you remember the div that we had created had an ID slideshow and that's exactly what is happening out here uh, where did I lose it yeah, yeah here so it's gonna look for the div uh, which has an ID slideshow so if you remember uh, you know all these pictures are kept inside a div the idea of which is slideshow and it's gonna cycle through them it's gonna use the cycle plugin right that's where the word cycle uh, comes from and uh, it's going to use the effect scroll right or maybe just shuffle so let me just revert to shuffle okay uh, I would want to use let's say this easing I would want it to pause on a mouse over and I would want the delay to be uh, 4000 milliseconds uh, but since I would want it to fire immediately not after 4000 uh, uh, milliseconds or 4 seconds which is uh, I put the minus sign out here if you don't put uh, put the minus sign it'll wait for 4 seconds before the uh, timer will fire so it's, it's a good idea to put a minus sign out there right so 
So that's all that this uh, small script means. And that's all that you need to do, people. It's so very simple. Let me save, press F12, save the document, and check it out. All right. So very cool. So as you can see, this is the shuffle. And if I go back, and as I said, obviously, I can just change it to anything. Uh, this is a little less dramatic f for this. Uh, I don't really need the easing, so let me just block out the easing like this. Press F12. Okay, save the changes up. Have a look inside the browser. And this is how it looks. And people, as I said, you can go to this URL, jquery.malzup.com.cycle. Different effects. Uh, you can just pick up the different effects from here right cool so people you see uh, everything that is dramatic uh, doesn't necessarily need a lot of hard work from you this is one such example i hope you uh, enjoy this tutorial and i'll hope you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day guys bye bye peace